Wow. Hey, what are you doing? You're just wandering around? What's going on here? Oh, shoot. Uh, hello, everybody. This is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft LAN Party. Or the Minecraft LAN Party server. We're going to talk about something else today. There we go. I don't know what just happened with him. I've got a, I got a villager here. I think he's potato contaminated, so I'm going to go clean him up. Um, but, yeah. I don't understand why he was just wandering around. I don't think I left him there. Anyway, how's everyone doing? I'm doing all right. Huh. I don't understand why he was there. I I thought this was this guy. Huh. That's right. Okay, I'm going to stash him over here. And we're going to go talk about other things. Uh, what's going on here? Okay, careful, 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 careful. Huh. I think I may need to give the server a nice little restart. All right. Um, welcome everyone. I've got the game sounds really loud, don't I? Feels like it. And I've got some noise coming through my mixer. I don't know. I'm confused. Oh, hi, Mr. Husk. So, let's, uh, let's go for a little walk. Oh, hi, horsies. I traveled some distance there, didn't I? Hi. Oh, hello, Mr. Chicken. Uh, pyramid should be over there, but I can't see it. Lots of horses. So, hello, everybody. This is Theron. Uh, I think I already said that. Some donkeys. Hi, donkeys. Um, so, it is now March 2019. And that means a couple different things. One is, I... didn't haven't really talked about it as I usually do I heard skeletons uh, hi bunnies um, <clears throat> but I have in February was our PM challenge our PM challenge is a challenge for musicians to write record mix master and all that good stuff a record in the month of February and I did that thing um, I have done it the last uh, 11 years now. I think this is my 11th one. It's a little crazy. There's the pyramid. I can see it there. Um, so I'm not lost. That's good. So, and the few years prior, I actually used Minecraft primarily to do my record. Um, this year I wanted to change things up a little bit. That's, that's, a, that's an interesting little structure. Um, so, I did use a little bit of Minecraft sounds in it. Um, and if you remember several weeks ago, I recorded a bit of me walking that I was going to send to the Reply All podcast. And I never got around to sort of editing that and, and actually sending it to them. So <clears throat> instead, oh, there's, that's better. So I ended up using it for myself. So the whole piece starts off with me um, walking in Minecraft and then I started doing some things with a lot of rhythm, a lot of drum stuff. Uh, because I don't normally put rhythm into my, my music and so I wanted to try and do, uh, do some rhythm. So that uh, that is that and I will show you a little bit of that but more importantly April's coming up and that means MS walk or walk MS or whatever they're calling it I I will be once again raising money for the National MS Society and I will be doing the the walk 
It's a 5K walk uh, in Pasadena around the Rose Bowl. And, oh, lots of torches. Uh, I will be doing that and raising money. Um, so I have a fundraising link if, if you would care to donate money uh, to that effort. I will put the link in the notes in the description down below and you can go contribute uh, in fact let me let me pull that up and show you what that page looks like so here's the fundraising page and you can come here and just click on donate to me and it will it will donate money last year I raised just over three thousand dollars I'm hoping to do more than that um, but at the moment I have I, I have raised a few hundred dollars so we've got a good start and i just need to go continue more so that's that's one thing um the rpm challenge which again i'll show you the the song in a minute but um here's the here's the rpm challenge um on my Bandcamp page um i called the piece amen breakdown <laughs> And it is here and it is available for basically for free. You can come and download it and and pay whatever you like, which can include zero. Um, however, for the fundraiser until the walk, which is in early April, um, any proceeds from this or honestly anything in my in my uh, Bandcamp store, I will donate anything that I make off of this. I will donate directly to the National MS Society. So you can have two options to donate. One is you can come and pay a couple bucks for a record, or you can go throw a couple bucks at the walk directly. All money donated here goes directly to the National MS Society. That does not come to me. It goes directly to them. Bandcamp the money basically goes into my PayPal and then I'll make a donation in the like amount. Um, and I have all, I think I have all of my RPM challenge stuff here from 2008 is when I started doing it. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now I'm missing one. Huh? Okay. I will have to figure out which one is missing. So this is 2016. Anyway, doesn't matter. I will put the link to the uh, the Bandcamp page here. 17, 18, and 19. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Yeah, I'm missing one. Oh, I'm going to have to figure out which one that is and go fix that. This is, I think this is the first one I did though. So it's, anyway, 2009 to or 2008 to 2019 it's 11 11 entries so anyway and there's other stuff here too i appreciate that this is weird electronic noise music and not everyone is into it but um you can get free music or you can pay a little bit and and pay to uh pay a little bit of money into my fundraiser um however that works and here's actually the piece of music itself. Um, I, I sort of mixed the whole thing in in Logic, and this is the 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 sounds of me walking through Minecraft. Let's see if I've got sounds here. So you see, it's me walking, chop 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 chop. I've got to mix this this part mixed down, but you can hear there's some monsters and stuff there, and then throwing tridents around and then to sort of mix things up I took the same piece of uh, audio and ran it through a filter which um, is a what filter did I, I actually ran through a few different filters but one is this mini filter which is essentially a recreation of the Moog sort of ladder filter which is kind of a classic filter and you can do some crazy things with it um, so <clears throat> Here is the sound of me walking through Minecraft, and it is then um, filtered through that crazy filter. 
And I've got some reverb on there as well. And this is just sort of atmospheric sounds that sort of play around through the background. Uh, as I said, the piece is called Ament Break. I call it the Ament Breakdown. And what I did was I took, um, I took a bit of a very famous drum loop called the Ament Break, which is um, uh, which is from an old soul music soul record recording from the '60s, and. Uh, it's been sampled in everything. You may not be aware of it, but you've heard it. And it just, it's, it sort of shows up all the time. People sample it for lots of things. And so I took that and I, and me being me, um, took it and, and made a secondary copy of it and sort of shrunk it a little bit. So they play back slightly different speeds. And so as a result, when you play them back at the same time, it sounds like the drummer is playing two different things at once and playing a super complex rhythm. <laughs> so you see it's close to being in sync, but it's sort of slowly falling out of sync. And then over time, it'll get back to the point where then it falls back into sync. And I took that <clears throat> and then I ran it through a couple different filters. Um, and to, to give it kind of an atmospheric sort of ambient sound. So that is the same piece of audio you heard here, but it's been stretched out eight times, so it's like like an hour long. And um, no more than I, I only took the first hour here into the project, and then and it gets a sort of really spacey, droney, sort of metallic sort of sound. And then on top of that, I ran it through a slightly different set of settings in the same filter. And, or different filter crystallizer did I do no that's unfiltered that's just stretched okay so then I ran it through some filters to get a, a more harsh sort of sound which comes in towards the end <laughs> and that that sounds like a vacuum cleaner kind of unhappy vacuum cleaner so that's all so that's all good and then i was playing around with on the 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 poop into a wormhole cover which i don't know if i ever published anything about on here that is available on the Bandcamp page um that's a cover of a matt farley song a uh, song by the the band under the name the toilet bowl cleaners he's got a song called poop into a wormhole and i made a my version of it which is a little different and i use Logic has these uh, um, drummer instruments that you can uh, that you can use, and uh, and it will sort of automatically. Uh, this one's the cleanest, probably. So let's solo this guy and get you up here, um, and you can just have them play drums, and you can specify this type of drum kit, and then here's sort of the style. Oh, I still got Minecraft running. That was a Minecraft sound, nothing to do with. Oh, that's nice and creepy. Okay, so here's a little bit of a sample of what one of the drummers might sound like. So this is filtered. I'm going through some delay and uh, like a uh, EQ and like a space designer, sort of some sound design type filters, but I want a big boomy drum sound. And it's also high, you know, sort of high BPM. Um, but then and that was on a kind of a traditional drum kit and they give their drummer instruments uh, names So that was Ian and then I've got a guy named Max playing an 808 drum machine here And then <clears throat> and then here is a another drummer named Julian playing mallets, which is kind of a, like a marimba type sort of thing and 
and that's also unfiltered um, because I thought that was super pretty so it's a very kind of a noisy aggressive very um, boomy sort of piece of music but it's very rhythmic So it's that kind of thing and it's like 39 minutes long um and it's it can be it's it's pretty uh i don't know it's it's kind of a sonic assault for 39 minutes and then you get towards the end and it quiets down a little bit anyway uh and that's that's kind of like the thank you for getting through all of this anyway so that is my rpm challenge piece for 2019 as I said you can get it on Bandcamp page right here this is the cover that I came up with for it um, and you can come here and get it if you like I think it's the most sort of a rock and roll thing that I've ever done and I'm super proud of it and as I said anything any any anything that I make off of the record um, uh, up until the the end of my fundraiser effort for the Walk MS 2019, I will donate to the National MS Society. So if you want to come here and and get some music, you can get some music, and you can support MS research. Um, and for those that don't know, because I've talked about this in the past. Uh, I have I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2012 and I have since been doing the MS walk every year mostly because I can I'm still doing well enough that I am able to walk five kilometers um, and <clears throat> so so I feel sort of compelled to get out there and sort of do it and I have been using that for the last couple of years to raise money for the National MS Society and I have raised at this point now several thousand dollars and I'm very proud of that and I'm plan to continue so um, anything you can do to help would be greatly appreciated if you like and um, you can as I said you can donate directly to my fundraiser campaign you can donate by purchasing music uh, Bandcamp does keep a piece of the purchase keep that in mind and then I pay some PayPal fees so um, if you if you go and, and buy this for a dollar, I won't get a dollar out of it, but that's okay. Um, whatever you know, that way you get some music out of it, um, and you can also donate some money to a good cause. National MS Society is a is a highly rated charity. Most of their fund, most of the money that they raise goes to non fundraising activities. So most of it goes towards um, uh, research, funding research opportunities, supporting people with MS um, and raising awareness and also doing some political lobbying to help sort of Congress pass legislation to make sure that people with pre-existing conditions are able to get health insurance, things like that, because that's a problem. Um, now that like I have MS in the, if I went to go purchase insurance on my own, I happen to have good health insurance through my employer. But if I didn't, it would cost me quite a bit of money because I'm sick and they're guaranteed to have to outlay some money uh, for, for me because uh, I'm on, I'm on medication that the, the retail price on the medication is like six thousand dollars a month it's kind of crazy um and i could not afford my medication if i had to pay for it out of my pocket so there we go all right i think that's i've rambled enough there thank you for watching this is theron um and please uh if you can consider supporting my fundraiser either directly or through the bank camp and I will put links to both of those in the description. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Bye.